We're going to start in just a minute. I wanted to just go ahead and um, you guys, you know, y'all guys know the routine. It's going to be three questions um, per person. We're going to have Q, Morrison, and Jenna Stady as the players tonight, followed by uh, Coach Taylor, just a reminder that Kentucky has its own Zoom link, um, and that was included in the um, email sent out yesterday. Uh, we'll start with uh, Brandon tonight, and then we'll move on to Alyssa. If I haven't let you guys um, have access to record, let me know. I'm pretty sure I did, just in case you can chat me or speak up and I can do that. I don't know if I said this, but Q will be going first tonight. All right, we can begin with Q Morrison. Hey, uh, can, you, can you hear me? Okay. Um, in terms of this game, I mean, how much was it just Ryan Howard going off, and how much of it was mistakes that, that, that y'all ended up having throughout the game? I mean, she's a good player. Like, uh, we knew she, she was going to do what she could, so. Um, a lot of it was our, I mean, not a lot of it, but some of it was our mistake. Um, it just her athleticism. So, um, probably her. Um, um, and then, um, and then um, when you had those 2,000s in the first half, I mean, how much do you feel like that kind of hurt with you not out there? How were you itching to get back out there after those, uh, after those couple of uh, fouls early on? Yeah, I'm always itching to, to be out there. So with those two fouls, I, I, I always tell Joni, um, I'm good. I can I can handle it. Um, like I won't fall out. Um, but it's just being smart. I just got to be smart. And um, those two fouls, they hurt me um, personally. Um, I hate not being able to be out there and contribute, especially on a defensive end. So it happened, and I got to live with it, and I got to grow from it. And the last thing I have, I mean, like. How do you guys, does it make it even a little bit easier to move forward from this, knowing what you guys have done leading up to it, and you know, the fact that y'all aren't on the tournament, that y'all aren't on, like, a tournament bubble or anything, and that y'all were just playing for, like, seating? Does that make it any easier? Um, I'm sorry, that was a lot, Brandon. Could you re repeat the question for me? Yeah, so I was just saying, like, is it easier for you guys to move on, given the fact you guys aren't, like, on the tournament bubble or, like, fighting for your life, so, like, you guys were the last couple of years at this time? Um, I wouldn't say it's easy to move on. Um, this is, I mean, it's a tough loss. We got to get back in. Um, we're going to talk about, talk about it tomorrow. Um, and we just got to learn, learn from this game. Um, and we, we, we beat ourselves in some, in some places, so we just got to, we just got to bounce back. Thank you. Um, could you describe your emotions going into this game, you know, being at the last home game of the season? Were there any emotions there? Um, honestly, just like any other game. Um, of course, it was our last home game. We wanted to come out with a W, and we were not able to do that. But it was just like any other game. We got to show up and be ready to play. And so I, it's bittersweet that it was the last home game, and that's how we got to leave. Um, but it's been great. These fans have been great, and I thank them for all their support. And how do you think um, Patterson kind of compared to your defensive efforts and style in any way? Um, I would say if I had – honestly, she's so quick. So if I had her speed, oh, I'd be all over that ball. Like, 
I don't think no one would be able to get a step past me. If that's the truth, her speed, she's so quick, super quick. So having her speed, it'll, I mean, that'll be great for me. And her her as a player with that gift, yeah, she's using it. And I could tell, like, she, she pushes up on defense. So um, it's good that she sees that. And she kind of found out she's second behind me in steals. So props to her. And then the last thing I have, how tough was it in the paint trying to get some extra opportunities when you have players like Howard and um, Wyatt there at um, the basket? Um, I think we was able to get in there um, pretty good, um, make make the right reads or whatever. We just couldn't knock down some shots and turn, turn the ball over. I'm not sure exactly how many turnovers we had, but the flow of the game, that's how I seen how, that's how I seen it went. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other questions for for Q? Hey, uh, Q, if I can ask you one more here, but like, um, in terms of the offense, I mean, like, do you feel like Kentucky's defense was an issue for y'all, or was it just shots not going down? Um, I would say shots not going down, and um, we weren't able to play in transition that much that much with their press, so. Um, that could have played a part, but overall shots weren't going down. Thanks. Thank you. All right, next up we're going to have Gabby, I mean, not Gabby, sorry, Jenna. And we'll just go in that same order. Hey, uh, Jenna, um, can you kind of take me through um, – some of the mistakes y'all made, especially in the second quarter there, what were some of the ones that that really ended up kind of hurting y'all in the end? And how do you guys kind of move forward with, like, uh, figuring everything out, like, in terms of uh, in terms of not having all those uh, mistakes? Like, how well? Um, I just think we rushed our – I think we did to ourselves. We rushed. Um. We turn the ball over, and when we do stuff like that, with a team like Kentucky, they can capitalize on that. Um, so I think everything that we did in the second quarter, we did it to ourselves, and that's what hurt. And then, I mean, like, how much of this game, too, was just, like, um, Ryan Howard being able to get hot on the other side? I mean, was it defensive breakdowns, or was she just hot? I mean, with a special player like that, she's – She's it's it's hard to stop. Um, I mean, for me personally, I could have showed up better um, trying to, you know, alter shots with her. But um, I mean, she's a she's a great player. She's going to do that. And then I mean, like, so with her performance and kind of like how this game played out, um, does it make it a little bit easier, I guess, for you guys to move forward at all, given the fact that um, that happened, and then you guys also aren't really fighting for your tournament lives, with, like we talked about the other day. You know, like you're safely in. So, are you guys able to move on a little bit easier, or no? Oh no, we're. I mean, we're. This team is. We're gonna bounce back. We're pissed off. Um, sorry, that was. We're not happy. I'm not happy. Um, we're gonna, you know, look at it tomorrow. Talk about it tomorrow. Go over what we did wrong, and then prepare for a really good Florida team. So. Thanks. Hey Jenna. Um. So can you describe kind of the back and forth battle today and speak on Howard's efforts and how it was defending her? And then how much was she concerned going into the game and were your expectations, you know, exceeded um, with her? Um, I mean, she, it's, I, I, I don't think it was um, our defensive breakdowns. I just think, she, you know, she, she, from a couple of shots I saw, she was pretty comfortable shooting it. So what we needed to do a better job of just making her, you know, feel a little more uncomfortable, feeling rushed. Um, like I said, I, I should have shown up a little better on um, some screens and altered the shot better. Um, but we we expect we've watched film, we expected it. So. And then they were kind of matching y'all in like almost every category in the first quarter. So what do you think was kind of the reason? they got off to an advantage late in the second and how were y'all, you know, able to kind of match it, but um, couldn't come out on top? Um, like I said, well, we fin we fixed it in the, um, the third quarter, but we did it to ourselves. We were turning the ball over. We were rushed on offense and um, making some defensive mistakes. So I think we came out with really good energy in the third quarter. 
um, but we didn't come out on top. And then were there any emotions going into this game being the last home game of the season? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I, I obviously wanted to get a win on, you know, my last time playing here. So it means a lot to play here. The fans are awesome. Um, yeah, I'm going to miss playing here. So it, it would have been great to get a win out of here, but I mean, it fuels the fire for the next game. Thanks, Jenna. Are there any other questions for Jenna? Hey, uh, Jenna, if I could hop in uh, with one last question. Um, so like, how do you guys kind of move forward after this with a game on Sunday, a quick turnaround on the road? And, like, and I mean, you're kind of in the middle of, like, a stretch, you know, to where, like, it's so back-to-back-to-back. To back to back. How do you guys kind of take this loss out of your head after a couple hours, I suppose? Uh, I mean, this team, we're, we're an older team. We're senior heavy. Um, we have a lot of upper classmen, two freshmen. So I think we've been in this position before, and um, – we know how to bounce back. We will come to practice ready to go tomorrow. And yeah, I just, I think this team doesn't have that shutdown mentality. I think this team is always going to keep going and um, you know, this burns, this hurts, but we can't, we can't um, put it too much in our heads. Cause we, we have a really um, good team we're playing on Sunday. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks Jenna. Thank you. All right guys, next up we'll have coach Taylor in just a second. Hey, uh, Coach, um, can you kind of put your finger on the second quarter of this game, kind of um, how you how those mistakes kind of got you guys behind to a point to where you were this close to catching up, but you couldn't get over the hump, I, guess, I suppose? Sure. Q and Jenna were on the bench. I mean, that's a lot of it. And let me back up and say, Kentucky's really talented, and they took advantage of of us when we made mistakes and they pressured us. We didn't like it. We we didn't execute very well at all in the in the second quarter, um, and and for some parts of the third and fourth, we knew they were going to bring that kind of pressure, and we didn't handle it very well. But it's very difficult to also um, make a run, withstand a run, hold off a run, fight a run with both of them, with both of them on the bench. Um, and then in terms of Ryan Howard, I mean, geez, uh, is, is that just a byproduct of the league and this 16-game grind that y'all have been in just to have that and have to figure that out and move on? I mean, like when that happens, um, how much of that is kind of like uncontrollable and it's just somebody going off having their night? That's Ryan Howard. I don't care what night you watch her. That's what you're going to see. If we had played her the first game of the SEC schedule, it would have looked like that. That is who she is. And the, the, the bigger the lights, the bigger she gets. That is, that is who she is. I mean, we're not shocked at all at her performance. She's a really special player. I told you earlier this week I had some time to be around her at USA Basketball 19 and under. She's a competitor. She's a winner. And, you know, this was a, a big game for both teams in terms of seeding and SEC tournament seating and rankings, and so she knew that, and um, she's she's a difficult assignment defensively. Um, and then I mean, how um, how important is it, I guess, for your team to move forward um, from this suck uh, quickly, even though you may have lost some SEC tournament uh, seating position there, but I mean, tough game on Sunday and then the tournament coming up. So how do you guys, how do you guys kind of preach the message of, you know, you move on from one loss, not the end of the world, all that? Well, I think it's the same thing we've done all year long. I mean, this isn't our first loss, right? So I think we, we're going to talk about it tomorrow. We're going to learn from it, grow from it, and then we've got to move on. I say all the time, we're coming down to the end of our SEC schedule, but you've got to have a short memory when you're when you've got to prepare for the next game in this league because – you walk into Sunday still thinking about tonight, you're 10 points behind. Well, you're on the road, so you're 20 points behind, okay? So um, 
Jenna said it best. We're, we're a mature team. We've lost a game and bounced back before. Uh, I fully expect that they'll, you know, learn from this and show up tomorrow the right way. And we've got to pre prepare for a Florida team that's going to be ready to go. They're really talented. They're playing well right now. And it's probably going to be their senior night. So um, we've, got to, we've got to get ready for the next game. Hey, Coach. Um, Brandon kind of took my questions, but, <laughs> but um, so can you just kind of uh, describe the positives that happened tonight? And can you speak on your team's effort, you know, keeping up with Howard, even though she put up 27 points? Yeah, I thought we had some bright moments. I thought we executed well at times. And we were able to establish a post presence to get Jenna to basketball. Um, and, and that they didn't have an answer for that. We just couldn't get it done enough. And then, you know, she sat for a bulk of the second quarter, um, in terms of Ryan, again, it's, you know, she's, she's a difficult matchup and any time, you know, if you don't ride her off for screen, she's going to fade it for a shot. If you ride off her screen, she's going to curl it, drive it. She's going to reject it. She's just, she does an excellent job of reading screens, reading the defense and, um, making a decision based on what the, how the defense plays her. And because of her height and her length, on top of her skill set, she's just she's a difficult match. Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other questions for Coach Taylor? Hey, uh, Coach, I'll hop in here and ask one more. But um, I mean, early on in the first half, um, in terms of those mistakes, was there some carryover from? Sunday's win and kind of getting back in the groove or no did you feel like you, your team was confident ready to go no not at all I mean I'm not going to say that at all I thought we had two focused days of practice we were obviously you know Tennessee is over and done this team has been really good all year long about turning the page enjoying the moment learning from the moment whatever scenario that presents itself and turning the page I thought we had two really good days of focus this was about you know Kentucky having an exceptional player and the players around her doing what they were supposed to do and they pressured us and we didn't like it we didn't and when we were out of sync offensively it was because of their pressure um, they forced us to run our offense um, two or three steps further beyond the three-point line than we wanted to they got their hands on balls so this was about Kentucky and, and what they did and what we didn't do in response to it um, and I just had another thought I'm sorry uh, so when Q had the 2000s in the first half, did you have any thought of putting her back in and leaving her in or no? I left her in for about two plays, two trips, and then I got her out. So I, I did think about it. I just think she's so aggressive. It's, it's you know, I, I'd rather roll the dice on that late than early with her. Um, so I kept her in for about two trips, and then I just got her out of there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Thank you.